guys, welcome back to Paxton's re to Paxton's Henry's reading. Today we are going to be reading a book called The Intergalactic Journey Home. Let's just dive right in. It's just not fair, a boy declared. I am not going to bed. I'd rather explore space with hubby here instead. Up, up, the two friends flew, leaving their home behind. All the way to outer space. What wonders would they find? What wonders would they, would they find? They zoom past planets in black holes, round and and round a sun. Drinking lemonade and having bucket loads of fun. Just watch this, said Hobby, smiling. Hold on very tight. They looped and whirled and dived. And some, and some, and saw much to the boy's delight. Paxton, my name is in my name in stars. The boy cried out, you made it just for me. It gleamed and winkled and twinkled there for everyone to see. But now, said Hubby, let's head home. And quickly at the double, if we're not back by morning, there'll be all sorts of trouble. I don't think I showed you guys this one. But if I did, I'll show it to you again. Because who knows, it's a really good illustrating. Paxton, my name in stars, the boy cried out. You made it just for me. It gleamed and twinkled. It, it winkled and twinkled there for everyone to see. But now, said Hubby, let's head home and quickly at the double. If we're not back by morning, there will be all sorts of trouble. Then suddenly, watch out, cried Paxton. Take a face of action. A meter strike streaked past them and missed them just by a fraction. Their lemonade went everywhere. A four, a four feet fizzy foam, destroying their ship's space nav, which knew the way back home. I think I forgot to show you this one. Here's this one. The one I was just reading. The two friends drifted silently as lost as lost can be. What to do? More lemonade? Asked, asked Tubby hopefully, hopefully. Then through the inky darkness, they saw a shape up here. An alien 
ship packs. An alien ship. An alien ship, Paxton whispered, shivering with fear. The spaceship stopped. They held their breath. A door slid wa open wide. Great galaxies, you're far from home. A cheery creature cried. Our space nav navs wrecked, the boy explained. We're lost without a clue. Don't worry, dears. J just hop aboard my... Wonders what he can say. Intergalactic Zoo! I have Gwals and Farlops and Zingzongs and Zingaws, Poggies and Book Tea Birds, the most marvelous monsters in the whole wide universe. What's in there? asked Paxton, something savage and furious. The aliens said, even worse, a beast that smells atrocious. What do you think that is? Why, that's a skunk, cried Paxton, as hubby danced with glee. Please tell me where you found it. It's from my home, you see. It's from the solar system, said the creature, far away. It's from the solar system, said the creature, far away. Turn right at the pink planet, then then headed, then head for the Milky Way. And please, and please, it begged them, take the skunk. I just can't stand that punk, that pong. Full speed ahead, said Hubby. Quick, we ha we haven't very, we haven't very long. They raced through space until they reached the massive yellow sun. Around it, eight amaz around it, eight amazing planets very slowly spun. Welcome to the solar. Welcome to the fabulous solar system. Then bleep! The two friends heard a sound. They saw a distant glow. That's what the solar system looks like. Not in real life, though. A shiny... A shiny space pro probe weird right by, and it scanned them head to toe. A human boy, it wailed, oh no! It sounded close to tears. My mission to find aliens I've searched for years and years. Aliens, said Paxton. You want aliens, you say? Why, there's a whole zoo full of them six light years back that way. Well, your home's, well, your home's Earth, said the space prob beamed. You see, just past that moon. Accelerate, cried Hubby. Quick, it's morning very soon. Down, down the two friends zoom. Their ship got hot instead. Inside. Lemonade, suggested Hubby. Paxton simply sighed. Donk. I 
I think it's like donk or something. Doink. Dazzling birds flew through the through the air. The air. They watched strange creatures roam. Hubby, I don't know where this is, but it's not much like home. Just then, they heard a voice cry, "Help! Oh, someone, please help me!" A pride of hungry lions has has chased me up a tree. Eek! Eek! Bleeped Hubby in alarm. Eek! Bleeped Hubby in alarm, shaking like a jelly. To their surprise, the skunk leaped out. Oh no! I think they're in Africa. Spray, spraying something smelly. An explorer climbed down the blood. An explorer cl cl climbed down blushing. Thank you for saving me. Of course, I wasn't really scared. I li I liked it up that tree. But why are you? But what are you doing here? We're lost. But what are you doing here? We're lost. The friends replied. No way. You're from the U.S. See that flag on your ship's side? You'll find your home, I'm sure of that. Just head straight over there. All, all systems, all systems go, cried hubby. Hubby, we, we've got no time to spare. On they flew until at last the U.S. far below. United States, Paxson said. But where? But it is so big. Now which way should we go? Du United States. Directions aren't my strong point, said Hubby. Most dismayed. I'm only built for friendship. Well, and maybe a lemonade. They raced on. It was getting light. They should be home in bed. They they should be home in bed. Excited, Paxson pointed down. I know that place. He said. I believe. I believe that is a real picture of. I think New York. I think I don't know. I don't know. What's where's our street? There. Quick, let's land. Morning here. Morning's here already. Land, land, land. His friend said nervously. Okay, I'll try. Hold on, steady. Southwest Second Street. Crash. They came down much too fast. All systems went haywire. Their ship filled up with thick gray smoke and fire and fire 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 one second Sorry, just sorry, just had to go take care of something. Now, where do we leave off?
I don't think I showed you any of these pictures. And fire, fire, fire! Someone help, coughed Paxton, feeling weak and sick and dizzy. But Hobby put out that fire with something very fizzy. Sorry for qua crashing, Hubby sniffed. I'm the worst robot ever. No, you're not, the boy replied. You mustn't say that, never. You've been right on my side from the beginning to the end. You helped me home to my front door. You're the best, you're, you're the best ever friend. Back home in bed, Paxton thought all of the things he'd done. Some brave, some wild, some scary. Some, some, an awful lot of fun. There had been times along the way when he felt lost and small. So far, all the people who would miss him most of all. Back here home where he belonged he knew one thing for sure in the whole entire universe no boy could ever be loved more home 15 1550 southwest second street milwaukee united states earth solar system universe No, it said 150 Southwest 2nd Street, McVinkville, United States. Earth, Solar System, the Universe. Bye, guys. That was our book, and I think it was really good. Bye now.